ki khubor ka bate si tv lawan rashafi da ka frank motors booking open for the new nexon visit frank motors or call 7045207973 MIT University of Meghalaya our admissions are now open for the academic year 2024-25 explore our best courses experience global collaborations apply today ka bdws career academy kan pnong yag meghalaya scholastic aptitude test ha ka khatn ri utar gubnai maj ha ka porsi phob baje mistep ha shillong tura bat clear ya Umentri Rangba ka jela u Konrad Kongkal Sangma mentara singi ka khat artrik u leber u laplat pat ba ya South Lake project ya ka balatip kum ka urban development project ha ka jinga dan lang u sembut menteri Rangba u bahas nya balang dahar ya ka ni ka jing kli pat ba ya mau nong rem halor ki kampen roy la pelong ha words lake ya ka balapelong da ka tanan urban affairs jong ka sor ka jela ki project ki balapelai pat ba ki kentup ya ka development of commercial building ha yau polo ka jing snapen bhai ki santli ki pung ki badan hapo ka jela bat kumju ru ban pin bha briu ya ka yaudu na lor ki weipan ha ka ni ka singi la sa ki ru ya ki menteri ka hima melim ki balawan ban shim ban talang ha ka ni ka singi ba play yau mau nong rim jong ki ni ki project ya ka balai alam da menteri midnight khaluki na lor ki wei A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Then we move on to the mechanized multi-level car parking at Vivekananda Road near Additional Secretariat and Polo Commercial Complex, Phase Three. Next, we have the beautification of Yodo Market. And finally, the improvement and beautification of five lakes in sh in the state, and which include the Wards Lake, Malse Lake in eastern eastern Air Command, the Nirman Jhil at Lakkor, the Memo Lake at Willamnagar, and the Rango Karam at Resubelpara. Small interventions have taken place in the past, but because of the size, the overall history. and a numerous challenges that are there in shillong city no real big intervention or many interventions could not happen in the past many many years in fact for the past 52 years and hence we strongly felt that it was an important moment in the history of the state where we would be able to transform Shillong into a modern and a more livable city and bring it at level with many cities in the country and hopefully many cities many cities in the at the global level and hence we have a dream and a desire and a vision and a goal to make Shillong city one of the best cities and one of the best capitals in the country and hopefully throughout the world now i know the statement sounds very ambitious and yes there will be many challenges that will come forward but as we all know every big dream starts with the first step and when i say that let me share with you we have started on many fronts many plans and policies and programs have been planned and many are under implementation and what we are seeing today that's going to be initiated is also going to be a very very important part of what we are doing just yesterday i was in maukanu area on the shillong bypass where i had laid the foundation stone for a very ambitious project for the new shillong water supply scheme for the administrative city and the new knowledge city that will have a project worth 1600 crores and apart from this water supply scheme as we speak there are projects worth almost 600 crores in terms of road development that is taking place to the new shillong city to the new administrative city and to the new knowledge city so that 
we're able to build up the necessary infrastructure that we can have to actually have a great knowledge city and a great administrative city. And while we do that program, we have a plan and a very ambitious plan and we don't speak just uh, on paper in terms of some ideas and numbers that come out from my, my mouth or my mind or Dr. Vijay or our ministers saying it, no. These are all done in a very scientific and a very planned manner where we have mapped out close to 9,500 crores of funds which will be invested from various sources, including state government, including central government, including private investment in the new administrative city and in the new knowledge city that is going to come up. So when this investment takes place at that scale, in this new growth hubs, as we are going to call them, we expect to create almost close to 50,000 new jobs and opportunities of employment for our youth. And while we do that, we are also working towards decongesting the current Shillong city that we have. And hence, this is a part of a large-scale master plan, and every day we are working on small, small things that are going to make that difference. But today, what we have done, we have laid foundation stone for four major projects. You've seen all of them that are there, starting with the beautification of Yodo Market. And again, it's something that we have been really thinking about and working on for a very long time. You all know that we have already given the work order for five crores of work to be implemented almost, I think, two, three months back. So we expect the work also to start very soon. And therefore, an ambitious uh, move towards ensuring that Yodo market is overall beautified and uh, the overall facilities are improved and uh, we are able to create a better traction in terms of tourists going there as well as our own uh, citizens going to that place. Our mantri was mentioning that I was not able to go there, uh, but my team, including our uh, health minister had gone there, who is also the agriculture minister, Kong Amperin Lingdo, and our uh, commissioner and secretary for agriculture had gone, uh, and we have uh, seen, they have seen the place and plans have been made. Uh, I would like to go on the day of the inauguration. So we will go and we'll inaugurate it when it is complete. I am hopeful that within the 12, within the next 12 to 18 months, we should be able to complete this first phase of five crores. And then after that, we have already earmarked another 10 crores to be spent in Yodo market. And uh, we are also keen to work with government of India agencies to work with us and help us to then get further funds. So 15 crores will be spent to beautify Yodo and I'm sure that with the help of the Hima Milim, the Mantri and all the uh, other traditional heads and the stakeholders, the shopkeepers out there and the other individuals involved, that we will be able to make Yodo market into uh, one of the best traditional markets in our region, in the Northeast region. The second project is something that's very close to my heart and uh, it is really the beautification of uh, of Watts Lake because I cross this place every day and every time I cross I uh, keep coming up and thinking of different ideas and I'm happy to see that this parking lot at the back is coming up so we'll have the promenade out there where we'll have some shops and parking areas and a uh, place for the hawkers out there and a place for people to sit as was mentioned even a small place where children can play and even if possible we'll have an amphitheater where performance can, uh, can happen. The idea is really that the potential that Watts Lake has, uh, we strongly and I strongly feel that we have not explored it to the max. Uh, for example, we had started one evening market out here, I'm sure some of you have visited. And this evening market, though it started off very small, today has become very popular among the tourists. That to Today the tourists are telling us, can you continue it throughout the year? And therefore, we are looking at the possibility of uh, continuing this evening market. In fact, if you were to come to this evening, evening market and sit there, you know, you would be completely kind of transported out of Shillong and you'd feel you're not in Shillong anymore. And uh, that's a great experience and the potential that this place uh, has, and we are really keen to take advantage of that. And hence, we start off by having this water area to be 
cleansed further. We would like it to be crystal clear so that it would be visible all the way down in the sense that people can see the fish and uh, other, uh, uh, you know, water bodies, uh, the other, uh, you know, so flora and fauna that is there. Uh, they'll be able to experience it. And that is something that we would like to do apart from building up the infrastructure around, like the gate area, like the sitting areas, like the restaurants that are there, and even possible, as I said, an amphitheater, uh, along with uh, one another program which we're doing, which is what we call the laser light show. Uh, it's a very, very long pending project, but we intend to create a spring or a fountain out here where the laser lights will hit the fountain and uh, you know the uh, a laser show comes up and I'm, I'm sure some of you have seen it outside uh, but that's what we plan to do here uh, which will again be a very very great experience for the tourists because you'll be actually able to see the history of the state the cultural aspect of the state through a laser light show that will happen here in the evenings so so on and so forth we have plans and approximately about 25 crores will be spent to improve the overall infrastructure out here in Watts Lake. Another very important aspect is the aspect of the parking lots that we've been talking about. Almost close to 1,000 uh, parking lots will be, or rather parking spaces for 1,000 plus vehicles is being created. But today we are setting up the uh, foundation stone for 465 such locations or such slots at a cost of about 90 crores, uh, which also includes um, the program that I had mentioned in my, I think the assembly I was replying. Uh, so there is a space right next to the Polo Orchid uh, where we have small plot of land which is being unused uh, by one of the departments in the state government. We intend to create uh, infrastructure where we have space for the hawkers as well as for the uh, parking of the vehicles there. And that is the uh, part that we are uh, putting up, which is about 46 crores for which the foundation stone has been laid today. Uh, friends, uh, apart from that, there are many other uh, you know, uh, projects that will be come up. Uh, the the Watts Lake Promenade, as I said, we expect this project also to be complete very soon, uh, which will be a stretch all the way from this point uh, to about another 200 meters ahead. Uh, and hence, like that, there are many other projects happening very soon once we are able to relocate the um, the PWD office right at the center in uh, uh, in. Uh, Barrick Point, uh, we are intending to put up what we are going to call a unity park out there. And the idea of having a unity park is to have our cultural aspects, the story of our state, the story of our people, the history of our state being put around that park, which we'll call a unity park, which will show the different diverse cultures of our state and our people. And uh, we intend to make it a park where we will combine it with the national integration. And uh, I uh, vision or dream to at least have a, a large, uh, you know, a 40 meter, 50 meter uh, flag of our national, our Indian flag to be there, uh, uh, standing there. So that will be right at the center and heart of our of our state, uh, of our city, which will integrate uh, with the cultural part of our uh, of our state, and as I said, hence the name uh, Unity Park, which we intend to put out there, uh, which is another project which is on the pipeline, but it'll take a few, uh, maybe weeks or a month, few months for us to completely um, formalize that because there are too many formalities left, and uh, the uh, PWD office also needs to be given a proper space to shift their activities, otherwise their activities also will be uh, affected. So friends, uh, like that, we are really hoping that we'll be able to take things forward. Uh, you're aware that we have laid the foundation stone for the uh, Shillong ropeway, uh, and we are very keen to see how the ropeways can also become a uh, you know, solution for our urban transportation, which is again an ambitious project, not something that we have finalized. We are still in the research mode, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to come up with some unique solution to be able to uh, work towards uh, the overall uh, urban mobility within the state, within the city of Shillong. And while we move forward, and we're hopeful that the construction for the new secretariat will start within the next uh, six months to eight months, uh, once the elections are over, we will be going ahead with the tendering process, and we should have a contractor on board by September, October. And once we start the work, we're hopeful that we'll be able to 
uh, complete at least the secretariat section uh, within 36 months so that the secretariat can start shifting and the departments can then slowly, slowly also start shifting. Our objective is to send entire government administration to that side and as I said we are putting up a two-lane highway and expressway that will go straight into the new uh, administrative city about six kilometers which is going to start somewhere for Belfont area and the work for that is going on as we speak and we expect to complete that work by the end of this uh, financial year the next financial year somewhere around April 2025 and hence all of these things are happening and once all of this moves we will see in the long run, medium term, the overall congestion within Shillong City will definitely come down. With all these projects happening, the utility aspect will come up. With the beautification happening, the overall value of, uh, of, the, of the city will go up. And hence, all these big, small interventions, and as I said in the beginning of my speech, has never been done in a planned manner uh, for Shillong City uh, in the last 52 years. And Shillong and its people and our capital deserves this kind of importance. And that is why we are aggressively pursuing this entire uh, process. And as I conclude, as I mentioned, that we are going to spend close to 9,500 crores just on Shillong, Shillong City, the administrative city, and the new knowledge city. And it's one of the largest investments that will be made in the history of our state. And as I said, just this investment will create a growth center uh, for us in one way. And this growth center will have the potential to create almost close to 30, uh, 50,000 jobs uh, as we move forward.